One of the most commonly asked questions I get regarding Sushugi Bon and the Sushugi Bon inspired finish is can I use this process on hardwoods? More specifically, oak, maple, and walnut, I think are the ones I've seen asked about the most. So I figured I would do a quick video for you guys showing you what happens when you use a full burn and a burn and brush on hardwoods. Now I'm using what I'm thinking is probably the most commonly found hardwoods in most people's shops, at least here in the US, and that's gonna be cherry, maple, hickory, mahogany, walnut, and oak. Using the bandsaw, I'm gonna rip all these and cut them all to length so that all the sample sizes are the same, and I'm gonna sand them down with 220 grit sandpaper. And that'll put all these pieces on an equal playing field. Now to burn them, I'm gonna use the small propane torch. And I opted for the small torch versus the big torch because I have a feeling that's the most commonly used and available tool for you guys to burn this stuff with. Now, as we found out in the 2.0 video, there is a difference, at least with softwoods like pine and cedar, when it comes to the big porch and that big porch, when it comes to the big torch and the high heat versus the small torch and the low heat. And if you wanna know more about that sort of test that we did, I will leave a link for the 2.0 video at the end of this video and in the description. Now I'm gonna brush half of these so that we get an example of full char, an example of burn and brush. I'm gonna use the Nylox 80 grit flap wheel in the drill for this. Those of you that have been around for a while know that that's my go-to brushes for doing the burn and brush. It produces the fastest and most reliable results that I've found yet. So I'm gonna be absolutely honest with you guys. This test sort of produced the results that I expected. So I'm gonna put each one of them in order on screen for you guys to take a look at the burn and brush and then the full char. One thing I learned while burning hardwoods is that a lot of them take an incredibly long time to produce enough heat to actually even crack the surface. As I recall, the maple, the walnut and I think the hickory took the longest to actually even produce any kind of an effect whatsoever. Otherwise they would just blacken and just sort of stay that way, but they wouldn't even get that full char look. Other than making a mess, brushing them didn't seem to make a bit of a difference whatsoever because once you got rid of that full char, you're left with sort of a flat, bland, brown surface. There's no contrast of color like there is with pine or cedar. Now, if I had to pick my favorite out of the bunch, it would definitely be the oak. Um, even the brush side and the full char, now that I think about it, both produce sort of an interesting sort of look, but again, it's just, it's just not worth it. It's not a very dramatic difference, and it doesn't really give you that big contrast of heavy dark brown to black char to fresh springwood. It, there's, it, there's no contrast in this stuff at all. It's very flat, it's very dark, and as you know, as soon as you put an oil or a stain or anything on there, it's gonna darken up even more. If you like that look, perfect. But I have a feeling that most of you are gonna see the same thing, and that's the fact that it's really just not worth the time and money uh, to use hardwood. So hopefully I left enough information in this video for you guys that had questions on that and hopefully you guys uh, get a better idea for what it's like to actually burn hardwoods. Not really a lot to talk about because there's not really a lot going on. If you guys have a different experience with burning hardwoods, leave a comment and share with everybody so that we all can learn from that. Otherwise, thanks as always for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next video.